Okay, homemade garden harrow. We're working on it here. Um, we've made it an articulated hitch, and I think I'm having a problem where it's not dropping. Um, training wheels, they're working well. Uh, the back spikes are working well, but all the tines are bending all to heck. Um, we're gonna do a little run here and see how this works. I get a better description later. Yes. Yeah, that that's it, it was up and then it was dragging hmm all right so we're gonna have to take and i might have to modify another training wheel for the front mm -hmm. to get that up because i wanted the articulating so it would move over bumps and stuff uh -huh. and then we'll have to put more spikes on the back because those front tines really they're dragging a bit as you can see from the the soil, they're doing some, and I've torn up quite a bit with it. The idea here is, uh, if I haven't explained myself correctly, is that we are trying to uh, aerate the soil so we can uh, reseed, overseed with uh, some new pasture grasses. And so building this, was uh, something we decided to do yesterday and uh, I got about uh, a day's worth of time and trial in it now. So hopefully we'll get it to work right. So we're back in the shop. We've welded on the extra extras on there. So we got six on each side. We've welded a cross member on up here um, this is going to be for a, uh, another training wheel. <laughs> and, uh, right now we're making a slotted, uh, adjustable for that training wheel. So the training wheel is going to go on here. And this will be, give us that flexibility to move it, you know, all the way there and all the way up to there. Um, oh, hey, why am I not done? Well, I'm not done because I think my wheel is done wore out. And uh, I went in my box and here's my other wheel. So as you can see, uh, these aren't four and a half inches or four inches anymore. Unfortunately, I'm out. So, gonna have to run to the store tomorrow. I gotta go pick up some steel tomorrow anyway, so. Hey, it should work out. Anyway, that steel plate will go on here. And it will make this adjustable up and down. Kind of the third wheel kind of a deal. Just to keep this up so it doesn't drop on me anymore. But yeah, that'll go there. And it'll be adjustable so that we can move it wherever we need. Oh, yeah. Training wheels. Got them at a junk store. Yeah, I knew they'd come in handy one day. And the other deals, <laughs> just so you know, um, my uh, tines here, actually what they are, 
is the mop head. Uh, a stick goes in there and screws in, and then your mop goes on here. That's what this is. I have a whole bunch of them. Uh, picked them up for for nothing, and uh, cut them up and used them on there. So yeah, you can see the little pieces laying around the ends I cut off. <laughs> anyway, okay. I think that's it. It's going on five. I think I'm done for the day. Okay. So I've scratched up the surface pretty good. And uh, unfortunately, I've also broke the wheel off. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she didn't, uh, she wasn't really meant for this. It was a training wheel. <laughs> Whatever you've got, you use. As you can see here, we had a couple of small issues. This wheel being the one ended the performance. Uh, but she was doing okay. She was doing okay. I have the added tines in the back and I lowered them. Not every one of them. I only lowered some of them. Because I don't want to overheat my machine. But it worked. I think I've got this thing ripped up sufficiently now. So that I can uh, overseed. And that was the whole point of this project. So I'll clean it up. I may make a couple of more tweaks and adjustments. Namely replacing this wheel with something a little stronger. And fixing that bracket over there. Otherwise, she seems to have worked out well. And uh, go buy one of these things. It's uh, not cheap. Not cheap at all. Especially if you make a heavy duty like this thing is. Except for the wheels. Come on, give me a break. I know the wheels are a little cheesy. But uh, they're only just, just there to help out. So. All in all, folks, I'd say this was okay. It works good. And... Uh, Make a couple adjustments and we'll be good for next year again. Um, that pasture in there, I don't know if I will do this year or not. I'll probably do the boys' pasture way over on the other side of the barn. And this pasture, I'll do two, but I got to have the goats in one and I have to let this set up. So they'll be in one for most of the summer while this sets itself up so that's why i can't do a bunch but anyway i got that project next the garden y'all take care we'll talk to you later bye bye